Welcome to Texas Adam. This is a play on Texas Hold'em and it's played relatively the same way, although the quote-unquote currency used are fictional stars rather than, of course, real money. Um, it's perfect for your first, second, uh, first or second grader learning edition, and it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot more fun than just your typical learning edition facts. So the first thing I do is click Start Game, and you see here I have a hundred stars to start. Now I'm going to bet some of my stars. Now I have to sort of evaluate my hand to determine what a good bet is. If I click Don't Bet, um, it'll give me all new cards, but I will lose. 10 stars. Down here it says drag the relevant cards here, which make one pair, two pairs, three of a kind, four of a kind, a full house, or a straight. Click here for examples of these. So if I click here, and I'm a student, I can see what one pair is. For example, two pairs, three of a kind, four of a kind, full house, straight. So let's take a look and see what I have. I have zero plus eight, which is eight. I have five plus one, which is six. 4 plus 7, which is 11, 5 plus 3, which is 8, and 2 plus 4, which is 6. So I have two pairs. So I'm going to drag those two pairs down to this window. 0 plus 8, 5 plus 3. I have 5 plus 1 and 2 plus 4. Now, I believe I have a really good hand. I am playing against an invisible opponent, which is a computer. And so I don't know what the computer has, but I bet that my two pair will beat whatever the computer has. So I'm gonna bet 75 stars. So I click bet, and it says, you win 150 stars, because I win, since I have two pairs, I win twice my bet. You had two pairs and your opponent had a pair. So if you see here, once you, um, once you bet, you can see what you have, which is 8866. My opponent had a pair of 11s, but my two pair beat the computer's one. So I click continue. I now have 250 stars, and we play again. This time I have 11, 13, 5, 4, and 7. Nothing worth betting. So I click don't bet. Now I have 8, 11, 11, 7, and 12. So I have a pair of 11s. I like my pair of 11s. I'm going to bet. Let's bet 150 stars. I click bet. And I win. Barely. My opponent had a pair of 10s, but my pair of 11s win. So I now have 390, and essentially you see how this goes. So in this case, look at this, I have, I have, again, I have two pairs. I have, actually, I have a full house here. I have six, six, and six, and I have four and four. So I've never actually gotten this kind of hand before in testing this game. So I'm gonna bet all of it. This is gonna be a big win for me, and click bet. And I win 3,120 stars because I had a full house and my opponent had a pair. The full house rewards you with the most stars in the whole game. So right like that, I have 3,510 stars. And so the idea is kids can play this and see how many stars they can get. And they'll have fun having sort of, um, you know, friendly competitions over this. And they'll play over and over again to see who can get the most stars. So it's a great game to practice basic addition facts. And like I said, it's a lot more fun than just writing the answers down on a sheet of paper or just entering them into a computer. This one has a little bit of strategy, um, a little bit more of a different kind of element that um, kids six, seven, eight really love.